Django has finally released version 5.0 and there are some exciting new features that have been brought to this new version. In this video, I'm going to be highlighting my top 3 new features that came with this update. So without wasting any time, let's get straight into it. So the first feature I'm going to be talking about is simplified template for form field rendering. So normally in Django, when you have a form and you want to render that form in your HTML code, what you have to do is to basically render that form or specify the details for every single attribute. So for the name of the form, you need to say form.name.label tag. So that's for the label. And for the help text, you need to say form.name.help text. For the ID, you need to do the same. And for the errors, you need to do the same. So you need basically need to do all of this for every single field in your form. But now in Django 5.0, you don't need to do this again. And all you just need to do is to say form.name.as field group. And Django automatically renders that particular field with all of its attributes. So Django renders this form with its own design. But if you want to have a custom template or a custom design for this, you can basically specify that template file right here when you are creating your form. So what you just need to do is that you need to add a template name attribute and then specify that particular template for that form field. The next feature that we're going to be talking about is database computed default values. This feature allows defaults to be set at the database level. So this can improve data consistency and visibility for database related operations. So this means that defaults are applied when inserting data directly into the database. Now this is good because it basically benefits those who interact with the database without the Django layer. So for example, data scientists or people in those fields. So this is basically more robust and a reliable way to undo default values, especially for time-based data. So let me show you an example right here. So right here, you're going to see that we have this model class that is named movie and under it, we have movie views and this movie views is an integer field and it has a default value of zero. So if we were to view the database schema of this, we're not going to see the value, which is the default value in the database schema. So let's say we open this in like a SQLite database and we open the database schema and we are looking through the tables and fields. Once we get to this movie, views table data we're not going to see the default value so this is because this default attribute does not allow us to be able to view this data on the database schema due to the way it has been inserted into the database but now what you can just do is to use db default so once you upgrade to django 5.0 and you change default to db default once you open up your database schema you're going to automatically see that you're going to see the value of that particular movie views without even creating a new data or creating a new object of that particular model. The last one I'm going to be talking about in this video is database generated model field. So this is quite straightforward and this just allows us to create field from other fields. So it allows us to create new fields from our model that is computed from other fields. So right here we have a very basic example. We have a model named square and we have the side of that square as a field. And right here, we're going to have another field that is named area. And this area is going to be computed from the value of side. So right here, what you just need to do is say model.generated field. And under expression, you need to specify the computation. So what you're going to do right here, this is going to be the value of this particular field. So we're going to use F and we need to first import F from Django.db.models. So once you import f, as you can see right here, it takes the value of this side field and it multiplies it by the value of the side field, which also gives us the area of that particular square. So what you also need to do is to just add this output field parameter and also need to add db persistence as true. So this is good because it basically allows us to create new fields that relies on other fields. So we can computate other fields and use the result as the value of another field. That is the end of this video. I'm going to drop a link in the description below that is going to take you to the full release note of Django 5.0. It's going to show you all the features and everything that has changed in Django 5.0. So you can check that out if you want to know more about this. And having that said, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.